Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy. How are you doing this wonderful morning? I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a great weekend. We had a great weekend. We went to Springfield, Missouri to move in glory to her new apartment. And uh, just amazing weekend. So uh got back late last night and up this morning to have devotions with you this morning. So here we go. We're dealing with Ephesians 2.10. Here's what it is. For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So really what it comes down to this is that you are called. Just, you know, follower of Christ, we are God's handiwork. There is so many verses throughout the Bible that re references that that God created us for purpose. And uh, you might say, well, <laughs> what am I supposed to do in life? God has a plan and purpose for your life. As a follower of Christ, God has some purpose in your life, whatever it may be. G growing up, my mom was... Uh, it was a school bus driver and she drove bus with purpose. She, she knew what she was supposed to do, uh, in life. She, she drove that. She, she knew, knew that those kids was her purpose. That, that, that when she drove, she, she, that was her mission field. Uh, my wife's a school bus, school, school teacher. She, her purpose is to teach those kids with purpose. I'm a chaplain in the prison now. That's my purpose. Um, whatever you do right now, uh, that's your purpose. You know, um, if you're, if, if you're retired, find your purpose. Do something to honor the Lord. We are, God has a plan and a purpose for our life. You can see it in Jeremiah 29, 11. You can see it here, uh, which God prepared in advance for us to do. And, and purpose, right? That's what I see in this passage this morning that challenges us to, in this week, as you go into this week, there's more than just sitting on your blessed assurance saying, oh, I think I'm just gonna sit around. God has so much for us to do. Uh, and and there is just God is it has so much planned for you. Uh, we just have to know that when we look in the mirror, it's just not just saying, "Oh man, look how good I am today." No, God has planned. When you walk out your front door, God has something there for you to do. God has a plan. That is your mission field. God wants to use you in such amazing ways. And all you have to do is say, God, here I am. And so I just want to encourage you as you get out this week, just don't say, well, it's just another week. It's just another Monday. It's just another day. God wants to use you in such an amazing way. So that's the way I'm going to pray today for you as you start out this wonderful week. Amen. Amen. So Ephesians, so get out your notebook, Ephesians 2.10. Write this verse out. For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2.10. Write that verse out. Put an O, observe it, A, apply it to our life, P, pray. So let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for today. Thank you for those that are watching now and those who watch later. God, thank you for giving us purpose for our life. Thank you for calling us. Uh, thank you for saving our lives. Lord, we just praise you. I pray for those that are sick. I pray that you heal their bodies. I pray for those that are well, that Lord, that you just use them today. Use us today. I pray for our government that you help them to make godly decisions. I pray for those that are in need that you provide for them. I pray for um, the economy that you turn it around. I pray for um, that you give us an opportunity to be a blessing to those that we come in contact with. I pray that you give us an opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today, Lord. 
Lord, I just pray over this day that it will be amazing that, Lord God, that we just really take seriously the purpose that you call us into, wherever it may be, Lord. I thank you so much in your name. Amen. Have a great day. Love you guys. Have an amazing Monday. We love you guys. Be blessed today.